In this lecture, we are going to move on to explore the bony landmarks of the body. Understanding the bony landmarks of the body will give us a foundation of where the muscles originate and insert. This right here is the clavicle, also known as the collarbone. When seen from above, it appears to look like a subtle S-curve. The flat bone that is located in the center of the chest is the sternum. The sternum consists of three sections, the manubrium, the body, and the xiphoid process. This here is the costal cartilage. The costal cartilage is the connective tissue that joins the ribs to the sternum. The curved part of the pelvis is the iliac crest. It is the superior border edge of the wing of the pelvis. This right here is the anterior superior iliac spine. It is a very important bony projection which provides attachment to one of the most prominent muscle on the leg and which I will go over very soon. This here is the pubic symphysis. It is a cartilaginous joint located between the left and right pubic bones near the middle of the body. The bone that connects the upper arm bone with the clavicle is the scapula. Right by the top of the scapula is a bony ridge called the spine of the scapula. The base of the scapula is called the medial border of the scapula. At the outer edge of the spine of the scapula is the acromion process. The acromion process serves as a canopy over the ball and socket joint of the shoulder girdle. These are the prominent parts of the scapula that can be used as guides when drawing or sculpting the back muscles. The bony marks that you see at the back of someone very thin is the thoracic spinous processes. These are marks that are visible on people who lack body fat. The dimples that you see above someone's butt is called the posterior superior iliac spine. The depressions of the posterior superior iliac spine serve as a great guide for locating the pelvis bone. This right here is the sacrum. It is the triangular shaped bone in the lower back located between the two hip bones of the pelvis. So guys, these are the important landmarks you need to remember on the torso region. Here we are going to use our x-ray eyes to dissect the bony landmarks of the torso. So look in the skeleton here, skeletal system. So this is the clavicle, right? This is the clavicle area. So we know that this is the clavicle. This is very prominent on people who are skinny. All right, you could really see that on her, the clavicle. And you also see there's going to be that acromion process. The acromion process is basically part of the scapula here. And you see that on her protruding the acromion process. On a skinny person, the acromion process is protruding, but on a muscular person, it's going to look depressed on the body. The okay? guy is going to look dipped in on a very built person. And we see that her manimbrium is here. See that manimbrium, part of the sternum, the top part of the sternum there. Okay? So we know that the sternum is here. and. The xivoid process is there. The body of the sternum and the xivoid process isn't really showing her, but you could really see that nice manubrium on her body there. And the uh, costal cartilage, you see it right there. Uh, part of the rib, right? Costal cartilage. So, yeah, we know that the her ribs is here, right? Her rib cage is there, right? And yeah, this is the costal cartilage right there, okay? This right here is the costal cartilage. It gives that nice Greek arch to it, okay? See this arch? On the pelvis area, 
we could see the anterior superior iliac spine, okay, anterior superior iliac spine right there, that bony landmark there. And by marking that landmark for the pelvis, we could see that the pelvis is going to be here, right? And so the pelvis is going to be here. Just by indicating where the landmarks are, we kind of know where the bones are going to be, right? Okay, next photo. See, so good. See here. So we see that there's a little bit of the thoracic spine extrusion there. And we see that there's the scapula, scapula there. So there's, there's the spine of the scapula, right? And medial border of the scapula right there. So you guys have to know there's the spine of the scapula, right? And there's the medial border of the scapula. And by understanding where that's placed, Later on, it's going to be easier for you to detect where the back muscles are going to be attached, okay? And we'll go, we're going to go over the muscles of the back later on, okay? And we also see the acromion process, which is going to be this right here. So I was mentioning to you guys that on a built person, the acromion process, right? This acromion process of the scapula is going to look pushed in is going to look depressed on a muscular person but on a skinny person it looks like it's sticking out okay and we also have the dimples there right there on the posterior superior iliac spine so we have the anterior superior iliac spine which is in the front okay of the pelvis and then we got the posterior superior iliac spine which is going to be the back so the term that you need to remember is anterior means front, okay, and posterior is back, okay. So we know that the posterior iliac spine is there and the iliac crest. The iliac crest doesn't show much on the human body, as you can see there. A lot of people's iliac crest doesn't really show because it's covered with a little bit of fat there, okay? So it just smooths out on there. And if you look and go back to Tracy here, even on a skinny person, right? On a skinny person, the iliac crest, this is the iliac crest here of the pelvis, the iliac crest doesn't really show much even on a skinny person like her because there's going to be some fat there that smooths that out, okay? In order for the iliac crest to really show, the person has to really be emaciated, like really anorexic in order for that to show. Okay, and going here to this photo, that's a nice view there. We could really detect the acromion process here, right? See the acromion process at part of the scapula there. And we have the clavicle area here, clavicle, right? Clavicle, very nice, okay? And we're you see the muscle right there, we're going to go over the muscles later on in the upcoming lectures, okay? And, you know, the muscles here, we're going to, we're going to be jumping on that later. I know it's fun when it's one of the fun parts, but we're going to do that later. Okay, got a good action photo here. So this is the medial border of the scapula and this is the 
spina de scapula, spina de scapula, medial border, okay, this is the scapula right there, right, there, okay, and what else is interesting here? Okay, this photo right there. Let's go over this photo. See the acromion process there. It's pushed in, all right? Acromion process. And then we got the spine of the scapula, spine of the scapula, right? And then we got the medial border, medial border, scapula, right there. And one thing I want you guys to take note of is you see how the guy's arm here is a little bit down and you see his arm here is up, right? Okay, see how it's up? So when you lift your arm up, what happens is your scapula here rotates that way also, okay? So it's going to look like the scapula is farther away from the body, from the middle of the body, and then you could see that the scapula where the arms are down it's uh, going to be a little bit closer to the middle of the body okay so see if this scapula is rotated to the right you're going to see a little bit of the muscle here it's going to make this muscle visible and i will talk about what muscle that is later okay but keep in mind that depending on how your arm movement is your scapula is going to either rotate a little bit farther from the body from the middle of the body or it's going to rotate just a little bit closer to the body okay all right and what else do we have here we could see his dimple there posterior superior iliac spine and sacrum a triangular shape there okay and we could see a little bit of the thoracic spine there okay a little bit of that showing all right so those are the check out the bony landmarks grab some photos online do your part go ahead and mark those bony landmarks that you see on the torso when you guys go to google.com just go to the images section and type in bodybuilder torso or torso bodybuilder pictures you should be able to find some really good photos to dissect